Morning. What's up? I've uh, just been driving down the road for an hour. Really? <laughs> every it's day. Like every day. We're back on. We're back on site, and that beep drove me nuts yesterday. So first thing I'm gonna do, and I don't know why we didn't do this yesterday, is drag a ladder over here and pull those little tabs so that it knows there's a battery in the smoke detector. One of them was going low battery, like every, what, 30 seconds all day? What? <laughs> Another one chirped somewhere. So we pulled the tab from all four or five of the smoke detectors and we're still getting a chirp. This is really gonna drive me nuts. We're gonna have to figure this out. <laughs> Jag. <laughs> Found the noise. <laughs> The water heater is going, yeah, and um, it's gonna be beautiful floor under it. I, my kids would love this spot under here. They would. Uh, it's Your perfect little hiding spot. spot in here. See ya. <laughs> Peace. If you can't find me after lunch, you know where I'll be. So this would be a 212 right here. This, this angle right there, and see that coming through there. Mm -hmm. That's about as high up as I want to go on that roof. What I was trying to do is see if I could make it out so that a fascia board right here would meet up with this fascia board mm -hmm. and be perfectly like uh, in line, you know what I'm saying? It's actually, that would be the bottom of it, that dotted line, so it would come up another five and a half inches and it'd be not exactly uh, where I want it to be right there. That'd be the top, but it'd be really close. Last piece of flooring, here we go. You gonna shoot it or what? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now we're done. <laughs> it's always really anticlimactic, isn't it? Yeah. 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 When you laid about 400 million pieces of flooring, your last piece doesn't really do much. How many of them did you nail, though? Only one. I'm <laughs> uh, supposed to nail it? <laughs> Hey guys, these electricians, they don't know what three and a half inches is. Oh no. I could show them if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> so it took, oh, me forever, yeah. it took me forever to get it in there, and then once I got in there, I, I'm like, are you oh, the horn swaggled me. Yeah. Are you about to mount these things? Yeah. Let's do it. I gotta brag on Ray. He just jumped in and just put in these bifold doors. No instruction, didn't even ask. And um, I mean, to have someone that works for you that can just, look at that, it looks perfect. And I didn't even do it. <laughs> I'm serious. You know how many years we had just sometimes people that you couldn't trust them to do anything? Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, not, not you, though. I've been outside, I'm not the, not I've been outside eating bonbons. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah, it's it's great. fantastic. <laughs> good job, Ray. Thanks. You're good. <laughs> Here you go. So I guess not only does Ray edit videos and is the best camera guy, now he's the best door installer that we have. Wow, it must yeah, be nice. Well, Freaking golden boy over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's got you guys wow, so snowed like thing. <laughs> Drywall always has a little bevel to it in the corners where they uh, run their knife. And I will stick a pencil under there and push down. And that gives me the degree usually just a little bevel to come out of that corner. There you go, like a one or two degree bevel. No resetting the saw. Nope. Yeah, exactly. So does it fit, Jono? We'll see. <laughs> wow! Perfect. Here's another little Jono trick going on. When you're putting this baseboard in and there's no caulking because this is stain trim, you gotta get it tight to the wall. And this wall had a little swoop in because of the buildup of mud right here uh, to the corner bead. So he's using the opposing wall and this board as a giant, I, I call it reverse clamp. You're basically prying this board tight and then shooting it to the studs. And uh, that's about the only way to get it tight enough. So that, that's nice work. So we can pop that out of there and you can see he shot it and it remained really tight and nice. Good job, Good job bud. bud. Man, was that in training? You are like yeah, Arlo like Jr. Arlo Jr. <laughs> We're gonna get the zoom in there. I mean, perfect. See how it's got that nice bevel. Yeah. Um, can we get some more stuff in the way? That'd be great. I might be able to get the gun in there to shoot. You got it. No, I gotta back this up. That's a good fit. Why are you coming back with that? Cause my man Arlo hornswoggled me with a jagged up piece of wood. Oh, shoot. Just when you thought the wood was all good, it's not. Yep, so I think I'm gonna uh, replace it. Flip one time? Oh, you're not really. <laughs> Who knows what that means? <laughs> so we can just unpocket screw, spin that in for end, and then that'll be up, right? Yeah. And unless you're eight foot tall, you won't see it. <laughs> Flip and spin. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Yeah. This episode is brought to you by Benjamin Moore and their bin line of paint. And since Jason needs to paint his bathroom, we're going to let him test it out. Thanks, buddy. Thanks You're welcome. Yeah. Bin interior paint is user-friendly paint for flawless results at a great price. So it puts premium color within reach. It's a paint and primer in one and is available in sheens from semi-gloss to matte finish. And I really love the look of the matte finish for drywall applications. It's easy to apply, touch up, and maintain with a smooth application and an extended open time, which is important. Ben also delivers Benjamin Moore's 3,500 plus colors with zero VOCs and low odor. Jason, what did you think? Um, as far as painting goes, I thought it was great. Everybody knows how much I love to paint, <laughs> but it was nice. It went on easy, um, good application, covered in one coat. That wow. was huge. Yeah, one coat. Did your wife like it? Um, she loved it. Okay, that's all that matters. End that's of conversation. <laughs> We're done. done. Hey, thanks again to Benjamin Moore and their Ben line of paint for sponsoring this episode. Click the link down in our description. They'll get you in contact with your local sales rep and you can get more information. Let's get back to work, bub. The worst thing about the paint is now I have to get a new vanity, a new light, a new medicine cabinet. So it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna cost me a bunch of money. <laughs> yeah. Have you talked about shooting into the jam? No, that's a good thing to mention. Whenever I can get out of here. Sort of uh, stuck. Like <laughs> Ray! Two, Bear, two and five Jamie, come here, quick! Two and five Let's all get in here. Jono! What Jason was just mentioning is that we try to put a two inch brad through the face trim into the jam, and it's kind of a trick shot. Well, 
you just gotta be accurate, I guess is what I'm saying. And that helps to really lock it in. If you can see that kind of little gap, but if I push it, see how it holds tight? And I'm gonna go ahead and do, it's only about a quarter inch in on the face and you don't want it to hook out. I think that's a good way to do it. And then of course we put another one into the framing. So we're looking at the board here that uh, Arlo Hornswoggle designed and like Eric was talking about, you can't see anything from here. It looks fantastic. And also it's on the back side yeah. up against the drywall. So you're never going to see that. It's like it never happened. What did? And we didn't waste a board or did we? <laughs> we did not waste anything. John is installing the very crucial piece of baseboard uh, that you're going to see from the toilet. Let's check it out. I'm right here. How's it look? I hope it looks good. It actually looks great. I'm gonna say this passes the toilet test. I take it you're not doing any woodwork today? Since it's uh, three o'clock, I don't even have a watch on. Is it three? Yeah. Yeah, I can't tell. Uh, you know, I figured I made it this far without doing any actual work. <laughs> why, I mean, why not do this the rest of the day? I don't, you know? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I know it doesn't seem like I'm getting anything done, but you know, you know how it is. You know what it's like. I do actually. You know, so a little click of the mouse, little, you know. That's our next project, which is a income property, like an Airbnb, small. You're the contractor. I'm just the video guy on this one. Yeah, I'm gonna have a professional video crew on this one. <laughs> you. You don't. You don't even have to cut any boards. No, I don't. I want to. You cut don't. Boards. You don't even have to do anything, but like run the camera. What is that for all of us? No, bud. You got to take up the slack on his part. I mean, don't we do that every day? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh. Wow. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you got it? No. You're done. Cool. Let's try it anyway. Oh, God. I'm literally struggling to make this inside of this closet trim look amazing. And, uh,. One of the houses I lived in, I lived in it for four years before one day realizing that the inside of the closets had no trim, like face trim at all. And I lived there years. And it was one day I went all the way in there like ripping the shelving out or something. I looked up and I was like, well, crap. <laughs> There's no trim at all. So, you know, this is above and beyond type stuff just even putting this in here, I think. I mean, I don't think it needs it. I mean, we're cutting around the light. The thing is, you would never even notice if it wasn't here. And that's the most painful type of work to do, where you know it'll never be seen, never be appreciated. It may not even be noticed if it's completely not even there. I'm telling you, that makes all the difference in the world. Right? Yeah. I mean, it looks janky with that white. Ray put them in, but you put that finishing touch on it, bro. Yeah, can you say something about that? <laughs> I said good job. Nice work. <laughs> You're the man. I love when my I love it. just go and do stuff without having to be told. Right, I didn't even ask him to do that, and he just did it and made it look awesome. See, it doesn't, it doesn't help if I have to coordinate it to say it. So did you see what we did? We cut that plastic thing in half, we cut the spring in half, and then I closed Nobody it. cares about you, all. You already know everything. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> So I just put this baseboard in and I couldn't get it tight on the floor there. See that gap? And Ray even tried this thing where you put a board right here and stand on it and it wedges it down, which is a really good trick, by the way, if you're trying to get your baseboard down tight to your floor somewhere. But even that didn't work, so I need to pull it. And I don't want to damage this drywall, which would be the most likely thing to happen if I get something behind it and pry against the drywall or even try to pry against that the drywall is gonna get a dent. So, uh, cool pro tip, and this is super simple, but just put a screw in your baseboard. Obviously, I might ruin this little piece of baseboard. Uh, and then I can pull that out without damaging the wall. So, um, we'll just recut it and nail that in first. Then we can force this in down. I think it's the plan. Yeah. next well i think we're like 98 percent done the house i think that's where uh most contractors just yeah. hit the road 
I think we're done. Clean up, Pack boys. it up. Get our stuff. We're done. Jono! He's gone. See, he's already gone. <laughs> <laughs> we're just kidding. Baseboard. Baseboard. When Arlo hands you a piece of baseboard to install, that's what it looks like. Perfect. What's it look like when Ray hands you a piece of baseboard? Like that. Like perfection as well. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to brag on Ray again, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. And I told him to come over and look at ours. Oh, oh. So yeah, we're gluing up these outside corners, a little wood glue for extra hold. Oh, look at that. They don't teach you that move in carpenter school. I just like to play with glue. <laughs> That's not the new one. You're being a carpenter. Yes, it'll work. It'll be great. It'll be great, he says. <laughs> you can't even pretend to sleep. It's pretty cozy back here. That was nice and cool. Oh, I was like, where are your legs? <laughs> he has no legs. All right, bud. All right, bud. <laughs> I got no legs.